My heart goes out to you if you have found out that one of or both of your parents are narcissists. There is no pain greater than this pain in the world. In fact, all the sufferings in the world, you name it, the war, the collapse of economy, violence, pedophilia, pandemic, all you can, everything you can think about has the same root cause you can trace to the abuse of parental narcissism. The fact that you have come to the acceptance of the fact, this fact, congratulations, that already make you less than 1% of human population. From now on, you have three options. Staying in the pain for the rest of your life, feeling a sense of powerlessness, repeat and pass on the wound. Third is to heal yourself. If you're watching this video, I assume that you choose the last pass. So let's discuss five steps of healing. First of all, knowledge. Knowledge is power. Studying psychology, especially personality disorder and narcissism, is not asking you to get a PhD in narcissism, but rather a PhD in healing. And you're able to have a mental clarity to make a list of all the narcissistic behaviors your parents have and link them to the technical terms. For example, gaslighting, emotional blackmailing, Oh, this one is really bad. Parental alienation. By naming them, especially when the same behavior occurs again, you're able to take a step back and look at the circumstances from the third person's perspective without being triggered, which is exactly what they wish for. And you're able to also learn how to deal with it. Eventually, you can check your progress, see how much more skillful you have become reacting to all this behavior. Secondly, is to protect yourself. Minimize the contact, set boundaries, and if you have to, it is okay to cut it off. In fact, the people you should cut it off first are those who make you doubt your conclusion that your parents are narcissists and those make you feel that you are less because your parents are narcissists. Often time, most of time, 100% of time, they are narcissists themselves because they have a sense of pleasure when they witness your sufferings and they do not want to face their own demon to with their own narcissist parents like you bravely and they know that the moment when you're able to cut it off that's when you start healing yourself we have to redefine the cut it off okay some of us even if we move away to the other side of the globe after years, we wake up realize that our parents have moved in with us, always. They never left. In reality, we replace our parents, speak to ourselves, and treat ourselves with exactly the same manner. And that is what you really need to cut it off. Almost all the gurus spiritual teachers, if you study like Buddha, or if you study their bio biography, you understand that they all are the victim of narcissist parents. Name an uh, example. For example, Ramanat Maharashi. Sir Maharashi, like all the guru, Yogananda, one of them, he left home. And when he was 
meditating for years um, his mom came to him a few times but no matter what he just did not come off from the meditation of course after years of work eventually he transcended all the sufferings and he was able to let his mother come back to his life supporting his work by cooking and taking care of some house things okay and you can't understand there is a reason of your suffering let's go to the next point is process anger and grief it takes a really really long time be kind to yourself okay it can be years if even if you thought that you were healed from certain things but you realize by a trigger of something else in the world that there's some unresolved anger deep inside you and it comes in like waves okay the most sufficient way to deal with anger is no doubt breath work and meditation there's no way around it and imagine this this negative feeling and darkness exhales through your body and inhale with glowing white light with unconditional not no love and light to yourself it's a very great visualization during the meditation and there are two other ways you can also process it physically doing sports dance hike swim do a sweat a lot you can also process this through creativity when you are in the zone creating something out of nothing while you're feeling a sense of joy you're really tuning with this divine frequency and because your frequency are is raised to this the same as source negativity they have no they have no place to stay in your energetic field so they have to go out <laughs> that's also why suffering makes all the great artists and the masterpiece okay <laughs> we were born to alchemist always and the next step is radical self-love oh sorry i have to mention about the grief this also takes a long time you have to finally admit that the parents you always wish to have they were never there and they have passed away the parents you wish to have and loved and you can even make a imaginary funerals for them i know it's very very difficult and then you study the five stage of grief from denial to anger to bargaining to depression and finally acceptance and allow yourself the time to heal okay but at the same time have the face that this all shall pass and you know that you can heal because you are the wounded healer and that is your mission on this world and the last step is radical self love radical self love is the the kind of love is transformative okay that means that you not only love yourself by oh buying a lot of expensive stuff for yourself but rather you love yourself enough to to challenge the existing war view and value view that your narcissist parents plant in your brain <laughs> i know people who suffer from narcissist parents in the end only married another narcissist because they cannot deal with the pain of not being extremely wealthy <laughs> so you have to be able to love yourself to investigate the truth and finally that allow you to see through the matrix and then you know what is real love practice self love and this you can 
do a lot of research about how to do it that really allow you to move from self-hatred to self-love thinking that you are less because your parents are narcissist and picking on everything about your, yourself by yourself sabotaging all the good things not being able to receive all of this and eventually you feel you're you're worth it you 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 worth all the love all the unconditional love of the whole universe you know of front all your the inside the center of your heart okay and then the next step of self-love is that you totally lose a sense of self-image identity ego you actually allow your old self to die you renounce everything not that you have to become a monk or nun living in the mountains for the rest of your life no you are able to have a funeral and a rebirth to yourself and from there you're able to grow yourself again completely from scratch without all this baggage okay and eventually you will reach through this process to a place called the meta big love and that is when you dissolve and you become one with all the beings and you are the unconditional love <laughs> much love